Hello, everybody. Uh, Trey Rackliff here today, wearing pink very confidently. Talk to you about the new Luminar libraries. It's pretty exciting. All right. Uh, what is it? Well, basically, um, I think you all know and love Luminar. If you don't, you, you will come to love it. Okay. Uh, it's a great photo editing tool, but they've added like organization to it now. So now you have your photos like organized, right? Kind of like a lot of the stuff from Lightroom is now integrated into here in terms of organization. So this is going to be um, a little bit of a deep dive video. I'll say medium dive, okay, not too hardcore. If the length of this thing is scary, I have a quicker one. Uh, by the way, if you want to go ahead and get it, uh, there's a link down below for Luminar. If you already have Luminar 2018, this is a free add-on. Nice of those guys here at Skyline. And also, if you want to see other of my uh, videos, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the little bell down there to change. Now, let me first talk about my favorite thing about this tool is that it is fast. Okay? I like a fast organizational tool. And although I have many pet peeves with Adobe and Lightroom, that's my biggest one is just slower than Christmas. Sometimes I wonder if those Adobe engineers are paid to slow it down. It's the only logical conclusion I can come up with. All right. I consider that the end of the Adobe bashing, but you, some of you guys know what I mean, right? All right. Um, uh, yeah, the speed is just great. Now, the other thing to note is that this is not a, this doesn't do everything Lightroom does. It does a lot of stuff better, especially in terms of editing the photo. Uh, it's still missing some features on the digital asset management side, but they have a, they have a roadmap and they're going to be adding this stuff in over time. You know, stuff that I personally need and demand and want. I'm sure it's the same kind of stuff you guys want. But I will talk about what's here. And, um, and why it's awesome and why you should be excited about it. Um, try not to think about the things that it's lacking because those are going to come, trust me. And I'm excited about that, those as you are. Okay, number one feature, speed. Okay, um, let's talk a little bit here about the different views. Right now we're in the library view. Okay, and you can change the size of your thummies, right? Whatever you want. I really like how they, um, they squeeze up you know, so that your tall vertical photos uh, squeeze in there nicely, right? They look, uh, they look good. I like how they're going to mash in there. Um, of course, you can just uh, click on one and hit F and, oh, and hit F and the whole thing goes full screen, right? Or you can go click on one individual one. Is that bring them on? There, there you go. Like that. You can zoom in to see 100% if you like. Friend, friendly, friendly girls from Burning Man. Um, uh, yeah, so that's how that works. Here's another cool thing about it is this is something Lightroom doesn't do. See, so you have these uh, you know folders over here, right? These are the folders. I might go in here. I get these different pictures. These are all the ones I took on that day. Watch this. Okay, so I can pick this one up, and I can go drop it over into portfolio, and it has actually moved there. You know, it's uh, it's gone there in. Uh, File Explorer or Finder also, and vice versa works. So if you go into Finder and you're moving your stuff around or renaming folders, it's all immediately reflected here in Luminar Libraries, and I think that is pretty cool. Okay. Um, also in the library, we have all kinds of different shortcuts here, right? You can you can look at all your photos, just your favorites recently added. Okay, recently edited is kind of slick. I can look at all the photos I edited yesterday. Six photos from a little part A in the house. Okay. Recently added, I bought in these, these photos. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Now, um, let's talk about albums. I have albums over here. I made three albums. Uh, this is kind of my workflow. I'm not going to talk too much about workflow now. But these are photos that are unprocessed. These are ones that I've completed. And these are ones that are rejected. Okay. What's the difference between an album and a folder, you ask? Well, a folder indicates a file's specific location on your hard drive, okay? It can only exist in one place. An album is just your own album, okay? It's, it holds photos regardless of their location. So for example, you might have favorite family birthdays, you might have, and you might have another one that says, my favorite photos of my son. You might have the same photo in both, okay? Does that make sense? I haven't made all the albums that I plan on making here yet. Okay, so let's go 
look at the edit mode. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the greatness, all the greatness of sweet, sweet uh, Luminar. Let me just go pick a photo to work on here. It doesn't really matter. Um, I've got this spacey one here somewhere. It's all kind of like the Aurora. The Aurora, where is it? Uh, I kept talking about how well this is. Or I haven't really organized everything in here yet, obviously. Uh, but with these nice big thumbnails, I'm sure I'll find it soon. I'm just too much in a hurry. Just relax, right? Relax. Not that one. Not that one. Why is that one sideways? Here we go. Aurora Australis. This is taken here in um, New Zealand, South Island, where I live. Okay, <clears throat> let's go into edit. Now, first you might notice that there are some thumbnails down here. Okay, these are presets. Um, I, if you're new to this, I really do recommend using the presets because it's the easiest thing in the world. Okay, and it's quick and powerful. So, for example, here under Luminar Looks, well, they're called Looks now. They're not called presets anymore, but they're synonymous. If I slip up, I apologize. So I go here to like landscape, and it's gonna show me all kinds of different landscape ones, right? Pretty cool. You can just click on them, and it will make that adjustment to your whole photo, which is pretty slick. It also has this 100% slider, so if I don't want it that much, I can adjust it, and that is amazing. All right. By the way, I have some of my own presets I recommend. Um, a few, actually. This one's called Trace Festival Presets. This is our newest one. Scroll through and see all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's how presets work. I'm gonna hide them by clicking on this job right here. But bam. By the way, you might notice here that uh, this is sort of like a little film strip over on the left side. So you can quickly jump around your various photos there as well. Okay. So here, um, I'm gonna slide these back down because when I um, when I hit the preset, it moved those sliders around. But let's let's get rid of all these filters here for a second. I'll just say clear with workspace. And let me show you why editing in here is so much better than um, Lightroom. Basically, you have all of these different tools you can use. I'd say at least five times as many tools as um, as Lightroom. It's got fun stuff like sun rays. You can put a sun and like have rays come out of anywhere. It's got practical stuff, professional stuff, denoising. Super duper handy, okay? Like one of the easiest ones is this one, Accent AI Filter. It's almost all you need, always. Close this, and so now I have this filter, and as I slide this up, you can see it, it just makes pretty much any photo looks better. It's fantastic, okay? There are these things called workspaces, okay? Let me go ahead and clear the workspace. No workspace. A workspace means how many filters that you're currently working with. Like for example, um, I could do the Quick and Awesome. So it's four sliders for me, some basic ones. Or I could do a professional, okay? These different things, um, you know them, you love them. Curves, hue, saturation, luminance, split toning, super powerful stuff. LUT, that's a new thing, all that jazz. Okay, so that's basically how edit mode, presets, and um, workspaces work. Okay, now, one thing to notice note or remember is that this is all non-destructive kind of stuff okay so that means that all these adjustments you can all your raw file is still there or your original jpeg or whatever it's still there um, and it maintains a full history and all this stuff so that's quite nice all right so let's go ahead and make some adjustments to this one and i'm going to show you how we could sync so let me go here to quick and awesome let me just do a little bit of accent ai filter a little sky enhancer Bam. Okay, not that much. But anyway, what I can do if I want to do it across a few different photos, so I can command click a few of these things, um, right click, and then I can say sync adjustments like that, and then bam, 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 it's synced across all of them. So we get that kind of cool look on, on each of them now. Mm, there we go. This one's a little overcooked for me, so I'm gonna dial it down there. Dial it down, Ratcliffe. Calm it down. See so yeah, how you can sync stuff. Let me press G to go back to the grid view. That's one nice thing. It kind of has the same shortcut keys that you might be used to. So let's say here I go to like uh, all my photos. Um, it's going to list all my photos here. Oh, it actually did it. I, I'll go find something 
you know, random, like here. So I'll, I'll right click this and I can say, I can right click this and say, go to images from the same date. It'll just show me images that I took on that day. Pretty handy, isn't it? Okay, let me show you one other thing that you might find interesting. You're like, how do I get new pictures in? Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can do this little uh, import thing. So you can import images into whichever one of these um, you know, folders that you have going, okay? Or if you already have a folder and it's full of images, you can click add folder, go find where that folder is on your computer, add it, and then suddenly all of these images are now indexed and kept track of inside of Luminar. And of course, if you have images on an SD card or whatever, you say, I wanna import images into wherever here, and then you just go navigate and find your SD card, and then you would be good to go. Okay, last, let me just show you kind of how you can sort photos and organize them in different ways. Um, so like, let's say this is a favorite, I can press P, make the star P. You can, these are shortcuts, right? You can go in here to set rating, uh, I'm sorry, set flag to uh, rejected, or uh, the other one is unmarked. So yeah, that's a good way to go through and say like, oh, I kind of like this one, there's one P, another P. Um, I don't really like that one. What was that U? Was that rejection? I already forgot. Oh, it's a rejected X. Makes sense. But I think it is a little bit darker, right? I like this one, I'll give it a P. So then you can go up here and you can just show my favorites. Okay, I'll just show the ones where you hit P on a little heart down there. See? You can also use star rankings, one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want to do. I can look at my rejected ones. Sorry, Charlie, you guys didn't make the cut. Yeah, so that's kind of how that works. It's a nice way to, or you can color them. All that kind of stuff you can you can rank them of course uh, by color label or all just the basic kind of organizational stuff okay um, last I'll mention catalogs briefly here um, by the way there is uh, uh, it not everyone likes to work with multiple catalogs because it can be confusing but I think if you if you're used to dealing with lots of clients or lots of different projects it's kind of good to keep that stuff a little bit separated, at least in your mind. It depends on how your mind works. So as you can see, you can uh, just go in here, you can have open, you can make a new catalog, open a recent one, whatever it might be, and swap these kind of overall organizational workspaces in and out. All right. So anyway, uh, go click below if you want to get it. Um, I think it's a great tool. You can see that I'm enjoying it. I'm excited about the roadmap, the new features that are coming down the pike. Believe me, Believe me, they're getting um, all this stuff done and they are excited about this tool as I am. And also, one thing I like really about the, I, I work with these guys at Skylum a lot, the partners and stuff. And one thing I really like about them is their zest for defeating Adobe, right? Because we really haven't had much of a competition for Lightroom in a long time. And I think competition is good for the marketplace. It's great. And it's good for me. Personally, selfishly, solipsistically, it's good for me. And I like to think if it's good for me, it's good for you too. But you can make up your own mind. You're an independent thinker. All right, you guys, love you. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Go out there, get creative. Uh, leave feedback below, any questions you might have, whatever. Uh, we're starting to put some regular shows on my YouTube channel. I think every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, we have new stuff coming out. So. Uh, just subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Um, as always, you're welcome to come visit my photo blog over at uh, www.stuckincustoms.com. A new photo, new story every day for the last 10 plus years. My little gift to you. All right, guys, love you, and see you next time. Bye.